Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I am really excited. I just got my Ipsy Clam Bag Plus in the mail and this box is so beautiful. I am so excited to share everything with you guys. So let's go ahead and start with what I got and I will go ahead and let you know the prices. Also, this look, I mean, I'm in love with this look. This look is so pretty. Okay, but let's go ahead and see what we got. And I do try on everything, by the way. Can I just say that we got a gigantic palette this month from the one and only Nomad Cosmetics. Now you guys know that I freaking love Nomad Cosmetics. I'm on their PR list. And this is the one palette that I did not have. So I am freaking so excited that I got this in this because this was the one palette I was waiting to get. And I got it in this month's box. <laughs> but you guys, let's just take a look at this. I mean, look at these colors. These are so perfect for fall. This actually retails for $37. Let me just show you guys some colors because these are beautiful, unique shades. Obviously, we're going in with, I'm not going to pronounce these because they're German. We're not going to do that on this channel. All right, we're going to do uh, this gold here. Just We're just going in with colors. Ooh, look at this gray. Oh, and you guys, these are so soft. This is like touching air. Like, where is, and I guess we'll do this. No, we'll do this. <laughs> I can't stop swirling. Okay, these are so pretty, you guys. They're so unique. And I don't, why, why is this one finger long and all the rest are short? Whatever, it's not important. I freaking love their formula. Their formula is so pigmented. I already have swatches, but we're just, okay, there we go. They're pigmented. They are absolutely beautiful. They're smooth. They're buttery. They're super opaque. You can use the shimmers wet and they're more impactful. You can use them dry and they're beautiful. Everything blends out. I can't say, I can't say enough good things about Nomad, but y'all, that's not what we're here about. Let's get on with the rest of it. Okay, we got the, let's try and pronounce this. <laughs> Illamas, Illam, Illamasca, I think that's how you say, antimatter lipstick in solar. So this says that this is a poppy coral. Yes, it is. This value is for $27. Okay, look at this, me not reading for a flawless application, exfoliate lips. Well, I mean, you'll see in the video I did not do that. Okay, so there's that. Next is the Ciate London Extraordinary Translucent Powder. Now, I actually had this from a previous beauty box, and this is a powder that I was using as a holy grail item until I found my Jeffree Star. So because I already have that, this is actually going to go in a giveaway. I'm just building up some giveaway items for you guys, but it is a very finely milled powder and it does blur and set everything beautifully. This has been a favorite of mine for a while so I love this powder and I'm really happy that I got one in a box so I could give one to you guys because I think you guys will thoroughly enjoy it. $22 for that. And unfortunately, you guys, this Ofra Cosmetics Madison Miller Squad Palette, $35 is completely shattered in here and like I don't even want to tip it it's completely shattered so I could not use this palette and I'm gonna be getting a replacement for it but unfortunately couldn't use this and it does have two highlighter shades and a blush they're very soft tones very romantic so I feel like they would look really beautiful on the skin and the last thing was this face mask Apto Skincare Antioxidant Mask with Pomegranate. This is $36? You serious? You're so small. What? It's so tiny. It's like, it's like really small for $36. Like, why? Anyways, um, you'll see how this reacted to my skin, actually. I did put it on, I did use it, and um, something did happen, but that is this, and this is supposed to remove dead skin cells while pomegranate and green tea help calm inflammation and restore balance. So, 
This is really good for like anytime you're in need of a good exfoliation, this mask has you covered. So you guys, yeah, if you would like to see me try on all these products and see what I think of them, that's my hair, <laughs> then just keep watching. But first, let's let's see the box total because you might want to know that. So box total. <laughs> so I don't know what it is, but it's right there for you guys. And now let's go. All right. So I took the liberty to put on this mask of the pomegranate mask and it's been on for about five minutes or so. It says to allow it to sink in for around 10 minutes without drying too much. But I mean, I'm in my sunroom. It's it was dry after 30 seconds, so I don't. I, I guess I'm gonna wear it for another five minutes, and then I will wash it off, and we'll come back, and I will have on the rest of my face, minus the powder. So I'll be right back. This did get me really red. It started burning. I had it on for about 10 minutes, but I am getting red in a lot of spots here on my face. So just be aware of that. I'm not sure what these red spots are for. Or if this is what it's supposed to do, it says allow the skin to breathe and follow with a nourishing moisturizer. So I think I'm going to give it like five more minutes and then put on moisturizer and then come back on so we can do the powder. But I just wanted to point that out to you guys before I continued. All right, I look very washed out right now. Sorry, I had to go into the sunlight. But I am not going to dip into this one. I am going to be using my own. Before this sets, let's do the under eyes. And before I found my Jeffree Star, this is actually what I used. So I already know that I love this powder. So this powder really does soften, it does blur, it really just makes everything look nice and airbrushed. Now I have not set it yet, I normally put on bronzer and contour and then I will spray and set everything into my skin. But let's do this so we can get into this palette! Oh my god! Okay. So now for this lipstick. Now I was going to do a cool toned look and I ended up doing this green toned look instead. So hopefully this lipstick isn't too crazy with it. Now this is very light. Oh wow. That's a lot lighter than I thought it would be. It's very kind of cheap feeling for the packaging. Especially this lid. I feel like if anything were to land on this, that lid would be broken in a second. It feels like that cheap plastic. But this is the color. It's a really pretty kind of corally pink. That's my dog. Sorry. So let's hope that this doesn't clash. If it does, what I'm going to do is put on a different lipstick for the intro, but y'all won't know that until you get to this part. 
and yeah that's clashing oh that's a terrible color oh this okay so uh <laughs> Mm. Okay, first off, I need to exfoliate my lips because gross. But secondly, even if I were to exfoliate my lips, this doesn't really apply very evenly. Ew. Mm. Ew. Um. It's very matte. It's not super opaque. It, It is kind of sheer, like I can see my lip color underneath it. It's grabbing onto every single dry spot on my lips, so that's disgusting. Y'all need to exfoliate your lips before you use this. It's, um, it's, a, it's an okay color. It's a very light, washed out color. I feel this is a good color if you're doing a very minimal look or if you have a really intense not green eye, uh, maybe like a copper eye, or maybe like a baby pink eye with some golds. I feel like that would look really pretty with this lip color, but not with green. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash this off and then put on a new color and I'll be right back. So here is the final look. I ended up going with a Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Lipstick. The color is Once in a Bronze Moon, if you guys were interested. But let's go over what I thought real quick. Like you guys saw, I could not use this. I can't, I don't even want to tilt it. It's, it's completely shattered. So I'm going to be getting a brand new one of these, but I could not use this. I am positive. I will love it though, because Ofra highlighters are gorgeous. Never tried their blush formula though. So I'm really excited to get a new one and try that. Um, what do you guys think of grunge looks on me? Do I look okay in grunge? Do I look okay in green? Do you guys like green on me? I cannot even believe how gorgeous this palette is. This is so beautiful for fall. It's got so many awesome, unique shades that I do not have in my collection. So I am so excited that I got this. This is the one palette from them I don't have. I cannot believe Ipsy sent this. This is such an amazing palette to get in a beauty box. I am so excited. Yes, freaking yes. Um, I don't like this, you guys. I'm sorry, I just don't. It's, the formula's weird, it's very, it's just not very opaque. It's, it grabs onto every dry patch even after I exfoliated my lips. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a fan. The packaging feels really cheap. So I'm not a fan of this. I do actually love this. This is a powder that I used before I found my Jeffree Star powder. So I'm, I, I love this powder and it looks beautiful on. It's really nice and blurring. It doesn't cake up and it doesn't like stick to dry spots. So yes, I love the powder. And this is actually, not, uh, my skin felt really smooth after using this, you guys. Like it did make it red and irritated, but it just kind of was a little red and irritated looking, but it seems to have gone down. I can't see it through my makeup. So I think I do like it. Yeah, so I mean the only thing that I did not like was this lipstick and I am positive I'll like the blush and the Ofra highlighters. So yeah, you guys, it was a great box. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!